August 8th, 2015. Video update on 110 South 3rd Avenue. So, a lot of progress in the last uh, week, two weeks. Um, the HVAC is all done. Um, the uh, plumbing is all done. And the electrical is about 75% done. So, uh, this is, I'm standing in the northeast corner, kitchen areas back there. Uh, I'll walk over there in a minute. Bedroom and bathroom framed up. Um, and living room out in here. This is the main bathroom. There'll be a vanity right here. A toilet there. A tub right there. That'll be all tiled around. The window will stay there. And we'll get tile on the floor in here. Um, bedroom, nothing's really changed back in here. Uh, you see all the electrical uh, is all and that and the plumbing is all in. Um, looking back out toward the front door now, the kitchen uh, back up in here. Uh, refrigerator will be right there, and then cabinets going down to that corner, across to there, and then that hole right there in the floor is where the chimney was previously. Um, and, and so the cabinets will come down this wall and turn out and there'll be a bar right here that will completely cover that hole. That, that thing there will be patched. There are several places around here that the floor guy will have to patch, but there will be, um, so fridge, um, range will be right here. Gas cooktop and gas oven and then a microwave over that. And then the sink will be out here in the in the in the bar and the dishwasher next to it on the end so then back here in the back room this is opened up that wall is has been redone reframed uh and electrical most electrical looks like has gone in there um this will be half bath here vanity toilet and this closet, see if you can see, that's going to be a pocket door there. Um, that's framed up for a 36 inch pocket door. The open will be 36 inches and the washer dryer stacked unit will be right there. They're 27 inches wide and then they'll be about uh, 18 inches or so over there for brooms and stuff. The space on the end is about 40 inches and um, Mike Lewis is building built in. Uh, there'll be double doors right there, opening, uh, hinged on the outside, and just just floor to ceiling, uh, open shelves, deep shelves, and that'll be kind of a linen closet. Um, by design, there's not much storage here, uh, so that we can't accumulate a bunch of crud. So there'll be then a uh, one set of bunk beds right here on this wall between the door and and that wall, and then. Uh, television on this wall and then another set of bunk beds starting there and running that way down toward that window that piece of furniture is going to go somewhere else um, electric box has moved it was in the master bedroom on the other side of the house it's moved it will be behind that door Mike Lewis is building all the kitchen cabinets for in there and then these doors um, this one here and then both of those doors over there. So this door right here, and then bedroom door and the bathroom door are all going to be barn doors. Uh, this one here will be on the same track, uh, one track going across up there, and the doors will go like this toward each other to open, back like that to close on the same track. This one will have the track on the outside back here um, so from the kitchen, you'll just see that flat door there. And that's about it. Uh, loft up there is coming together. 
Uh, you can see part of the duct work that that one actually is going to move. There's going to, we moved the, um, we had the air handler unit moved. It was underneath the house and it's moved from uh, underneath the house to up there. And then you can see that duct work. Uh, that's the return up there and one, one feed. There'll be two supplies back here in this bathroom, one in the, or bedroom, one in the bathroom there, one in the bedroom, one in the, uh, bathroom up there, two in that front room and the living room up there on on the floor, and that's about it. So coming together, you can see uh, still all the the cool uh, framing of the uh, rafters up there that uh, Toby and I did. Oh, so insulation wise, that's and that's actually the next step is insulation. Those walls will be. Uh, bat insulation and underneath the floor will be bat and then uh, up there that ceiling is going to be uh, sprayed in closed cell foam to really seal up that roof they're on 30 inch base up there it would have been difficult to um, uh, put in you know bat insulation without putting additional framing stuff in there so hang it so we'll spray in foam up there and uh, kids will have their little loft up there we'll have some kind of a little railing around that a little short rail just so people don't roll off if they're sleeping or whatever and uh and that's about it that's the update for uh for august 8th coming together um a lot of progress with the hvac and electrical and plumbing over the last couple of weeks now it'll slow down um until the windows the insulation will go in pretty quickly here in the next week or so and the, the windows are going to take a few weeks to get in all, all new windows throughout and uh so the windows and the cabinets will take about another four weeks or five weeks, and then we'll, uh, then it'll really start coming together. Um, but the, uh, the, the, the after the insulation and the windows, we'll have it drywalled and and be board on that ceiling up there, uh, across that uh, vaulted ceiling. So that's August eighth. Um, check in more uh, later on another day.